Hey everyone, History Mystery Man here coming to you today from Wooster, Ohio. I'm here because I'm headed over to Wayne County Speedway, which is just about 10 miles up the road in Orville, Ohio, but all a part of Wayne County. Look at the beautiful Wayne County Courthouse in the background here in Wooster. It was built in 1878, isn't it? Absolutely spectacular. Wow. Uh, Wooster was founded in 1808, so it's an old, old city named after David Wooster, who was a general in the Revolutionary War. But this place has serious character, charm, personality. It's gorgeous. So well kept and so clean and so nice. I just wanted to give you a feel, some of the hometown flavor feel around Wayne County Speedway, all a part of Wayne County here. Uh, just about, uh, I don't know, 50 miles south-southwest of Cleveland. But a gorgeous city. Welcome aboard. Uh, good to have you with me. Deep gray clouds. Cool, almost cold today. Not a lot of sun. Heavy track. Should be good. High limit sprint car series. Your idea, Brad Sweet's idea, was it done over dinner? How, how'd it happen? Um, well, I guess it, uh, I don't know exactly how it really happened, but you know, I think I talked about trying to do a sprint car series that you know paid more money, um, similar to like the late model stuff that around midweek, like we're racing tomorrow. Um, so then, yeah, you know, Brad has, has helped out with the promotion side of things a lot at Silver Dollar Speedway. And um, you know, we do that together. Most It's mostly him and Colby and uh, Rachel, his wife, Brad's, Brad's wife, Rachel. But anyways, yeah, so then he went to work hard to, to bring this together. And um, it's been a lot of fun so far. It's it's definitely been good, I think, for – it will be good for the sport of sprint car racing, just bringing a lot more money in and um, – I mean, like tonight, I raced for thirty-two grand. Uh, we raced the Putnamville. You, you, you won't know. even mind winning that, will you? Heck no! I'm gonna try <laughs> win all of them. So, uh, <laughs> no. I mean, we got a great field of cars too. So yeah, you um, do. It's a really nice field of cars. Yeah, and the crowd will Super. be really big here at Wayne County, so it should be a great time. Yeah. Do um, you ever get home to Elk Grove, California? Uh, not often. No. No, not often. Maybe, maybe once a year I'll stop in. Just yeah. to really say hi to my parents out there, but do they still live we, in yeah, the they, same house? Yeah, yeah, they do. But uh, usually, whenever we go to California, we stay at Caitlin's parents' house in Grass Valley. Okay. Do you keep in touch with any of your schoolmates from way back when, grade school and or high school? Do you stay in touch with your friends back? Yeah, I mean, home? I only had a handful of friends uh, at, when I was going to school, but um, yeah, I stay in touch with them. They all don't. Well, there's only one of them that still lives in Elk Grove, um, and the rest. Uh, are out in my area now so like they'll come to some NASCAR races and things like that but um, yeah we've kind of all moved on from from Elk sure, Grove but I get it. we're still we're still close yeah I recently saw an article what you sort of want to be the best driver in the world could you make the argument that you're kind of already there I mean, no one's doing what you're doing climbing out of a cup car uh, you know cup drivers are running the sprint cars in the late models but they're not winning here like you are i mean i think you're well on your way or there how do you how do you see it um i don't know i mean i think i think in the last two years i've had great seasons but 
I think, you know, when I, well, I guess what I mean by that comment is when I'm done racing someday, which, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm in the middle of my racing career right now. Um, but when I'm done, I want to be known as, you know, the best race car driver there's ever been in the world, I guess. And, and I guess my definition of best is versatile, um, that can jump between a lot of different types of cars. So, um, I think it takes more than just, you know, one or two good seasons. I think you got to continue that and, and, um, you know, well on. Uh, throughout uh, at least another decade or so. so yeah, um, yeah. No, I don't think I'm anywhere near that yet. Congratulations on your, uh, I know you signed a contract, an extension with Hendrick Motorsports. That's got to have you feeling pretty good, yes? Yeah, definitely. I mean, always when you can sign an extension and know you're yeah. going to be somewhere for a little while is, uh, is comforting. So, um, yeah, it's been a good, you know, almost two seasons now at Hendrick Motorsports and, and look forward to a, a long career, hopefully, there. How's your golf game? If we don't see you here, will we see you on the PGA Tour? Are you that versatile? No, no, I, I'm not. Uh, I enjoy sometimes playing golf, but uh, I'm not. I'm not that good. My handicap's like a 13 or something right now, so yeah. not not that great. But uh, I don't play nearly as much as I used to. It's just with everything I've got going on, I I try not to make myself busy doing that too. So. Um, yeah, I need to get better at that. <laughs> Finally, um, when you do get home, I know you're not home very much at all. If you're not in a dirt, well, I'm not. You're gonna run a dirt late model tomorrow night. You're racing somewhere. Does it feel good to be home, even if it's for a night? You still get that feeling like I'm home. This feels good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's good to uh, unwind a little bit at home and, and relax. But also, I don't like to spend too much time there. So usually, <laughs> like I can't. You know, Caitlin, she can like wake up and just sit at home all day. Like I, I have to get up and, and get out of the house and go do something, uh, whether it be go to the gym or just go to my shop, do something. I can't just sit around uh, all the time. You know, I don't mind sleeping at home, but I don't want to spend too much time there during the day. I understood. What's your favorite kid movie? You said sometimes you, when you're watching TV, you're often watching a kid movie. Do you have a favorite? Um. I don't know I don't really have like a favorite um, I would say you know whatever new one comes out the kids <laughs> the kids watch a lot so I don't I don't I didn't like this movie at all but they've been watching Pinocchio uh, the, new, <laughs> the new one here lately so um, I don't enjoy that movie but uh, it's been on it's been on a lot you should show your kids a cartoon called the Iron Giant my Iron, all, Giant. Iron Giant my all-time favorite okay thank you for all your time I appreciate you yep thanks. thank you so much thank you Hey, I just wanted to publicly thank Kyle Larson for all he's done for me this year. I'm still trying to establish myself so people are, are, are still getting to know who I am. And some drivers turn me down for interviews, and I get it, they're busy and all that. But there's one driver who has never turned me down for an interview, and it'd be that guy. Yeah, Hendrick Motorsports Cup driver. Kyle Larson has never turned me down for an interview. And I'm so, so grateful. Thank you, Kyle. Cole? What's going on? You got uh, just a minute? Yeah. I never stay that long. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you back in your regular ride tonight? Yeah. 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 Back here with the... Uh... Raybrook's racing car and uh, excited to get back here to Wayne County. Yeah, uh, so you've raced here a few times before? Yeah, this year I ran here four times. Oh really? So quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, long straightaways, paperclip tight corners, it looks hard to me. What, what's it like from your angle? Yeah, I usually typically gets to, uh, gets up to the fence there and, and you know kind of just running as hard as you can up against the wall and, and hoping you don't get caught in it or, or cut a tire. So. Uh, they've actually had a really good surface this year here and uh, has put on some really good racing. Maybe even better tonight. Track a little heavy, not a lot of sun, and kind of cool. That yeah, maybe, hopefully. Uh, it could could stay heavy and, and uh, you know, kind of be fall later on the top. So hopefully it dries out as, as much as it can. But um, if it doesn't, hopefully we're leading when it's wide open. Yeah, that's, I like that. I like your attitude. Um, now, finally... Uh, didn't we see you in Alex Bowman's Ally sponsored 55 car, uh, Eldora and some of the other tracks here lately? Yeah. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to, to run for Alex and Joe, um, in the Ally car this year, four or five times. And, 
uh, supposed to finish off the year at Charlotte in that car. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to finish off these last four or five races with the with the lenders here and, and the 18 and with Ray Brooks owning it and and uh, hopefully we can finish off strong. Have you solidified any plans for 23? Uh, yeah, as of now I'm running this car okay. uh, next year, yeah. All right, all right. And your brother can't race because he's a contracted outlaw guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's one of them big guys. So he, <laughs> he can't come and run with us. So. Well, what do you mean? The cup, car, the cup guys can come run, but the outlaws can't. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Well, thanks. I uh, uh, hope you have a, a great night tonight. Yep, thanks, I appreciate man. your time. Yep. When I saw the hard tumble you took at Eldor. I was there. Uh, you all right? Yeah, no, I'm doing all right. Glad to have had a couple of days off to, I guess, kind of heal up a little bit. So just mainly soreness was the biggest I guess pain part of it um, you know still lingering a little bit but I'm way better than I was on Saturday so yeah just an uh, unfortunate deal with just blowing a tire you know on the fastest, is that what it was yeah I blew a tire into one the fa fastest part of the track so uh, nothing you know I, I didn't expect it until I was already you know I felt it right before it put me in the wall so yeah. just an unfortunate deal but you know glad to you know race for KK and we build safe race cars and um, you know be surrounded by good crew guys that you know yeah. build those cars too. Yeah you know you're showing up in a lot of places these days tonight in a winged sprint car on Kyle Larson's high limit tour. How'd you get that opportunity with the 11 car? Who, who is that? Uh, so Leighton Crouch owns that car um, and his son Brenham Crouch actually races with me at Keith Coons Motorsports. So I've gotten to know Leighton uh, the last couple years um, through racing with his son and building a relationship with them and um, you know, he's, I think, kind of had this sprint car deal in the works for a while longer than I think a lot of us realized. And, um, you know, at PRI this uh, last year, uh, we decided to put the deal together and, um, you know, race around my midget schedule and everything else I do with Florida. 2023, have you secured your plans for next year? Where are you at? Uh, I still have a, a lot of things in the works and, um, you know, also with my commitment with Toyota, they, they have a lot of stuff that they gotta you know kind of iron out and go through and, and figure out you know what's the next step for me and I guess the best step. Have you ever raced here before at uh, Wayne County? Yeah I've, I've been here quite a bit I actually yeah, my yeah. first all-star race here. Oh really oh yeah. cool cool well thanks for coming tonight uh, uh, wishing you all the best. Yep thank you. Yes sir. You really watch the History Mystery Man? I watch every 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 post man. Now wait a minute my mom doesn't even watch everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yep, a I, lot, of, lot of good history. What a good historian. Yeah, I'm yeah. a history geek, so yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate your support. I really Where are you love from? it. Yeah, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Bolivar, Ohio. Oliver, Ohio? Bolivar. Bolivar. Yeah, about uh, 25 minutes from here. Yeah. Oh. How do you like uh, Wayne County Speedway? I grew up coming here. This is home to me. Yeah. Yeah, so yes, I love it. And to have a race like this, awesome. Very cool. You're... you're uh, you're uh, gonna have a good time tonight, I'm thinking. Absolutely. <laughs> So I'm on West Liberty Street in Wooster, Ohio, and this place is gorgeous. I had no idea. A town of about 25,000, really nice and clean. Look at these brick sidewalks and these old historic buildings reaching way, way back. I'll bet some of them into the lower 1800s, but this is a gorgeous town. It sure does. All right. Yep, good restaurant. Thank you. Yep. Good. Which is a good, which restaurant should I go? Oh, it's so cool. This is all part of the flavor of Wooster, Ohio. Are you guys from here? Do you live here? No, we're from Holmes County. Holmes County. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, it's a beautiful town and I, I think you're lucky to have it here close by. It's a beautiful city. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for chatting. Is this a good restaurant? Yep. Sure. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Quality. Thank you. We're taking out our, our daughter for birthday. Oh, are you really? Yep. Really? How yeah, old is she? She's 30. 30? Yep. Wow. Thanks for talking to me. Yep. Bye. See ya.
the public library right here in downtown corner of west liberty and walnut but that is awesome public library right in right in downtown beautiful building by the way i i can't get over it this place is really really nice it's beautiful and i love it yeah What's going on? You like our megaphone? Yeah. Is this what you, is this what you get in Wooster, Ohio? A, a, the giant megaphone? Come on, you're, you're killing the small town town charm here. <laughs> is this a good restaurant? I don't know. We've never been here. Okay. All right. So yeah, we live like an hour away. So. Okay. Thank you. Peace.